Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Do you guys hear it? I can hear it faint in the distance. Let's see if we could amplify the sound a little bit. Listen carefully. Oh, you poor little babies. Did the mean Kevin McCarthy hurt your feelings? <laughs> I'm getting a kick out of this one. As if we're supposed to take these clowns seriously. You know, you'd think how shameful their careers are. How dishonest and how many scandals follow these three individuals, Adam Schiff, Eric Swalwell, and Ilhan Omar, that they would just go away quietly. You know, kind of just like the Homer Simpson meme. Just slowly back into a bush, never to be seen or heard from again. Again, but of course not, that's not how these egomaniacs in Washington operate. There's good reason, in fact, there is rock-solid reason, logic behind the removal of these clowns from their committee positions, yet they have the audacity to whine and cry and play the victim. You are no victim. You're the Washington criminals finally getting what you deserve years late. That's basically the topic of today's video. We got some stuff to get into. Let me show you guys the meltdown, the crying from these three triplet crybabies. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so let's get into the meltdowns one by one. Here's Ilhan Omar claiming that her being kicked off of her committee assignments is a blow to the integrity of our democratic institutions and a threat to national security. Kevin McCarthy's purely partisan move to strip us from our committee it's not only a political stunt, but also a blow to the integrity of our democratic institution and threat to our national security. We are thankful to leader Jeffries and House Democrats and even some courageous Republicans for standing with us. If McCarthy wants to denigrate the integrity of the House and its committees, we will always stand up to these efforts. Now, isn't that rich? I'm not going to get into the history of Ilhan Omar apologizing for Hamas and other terrorist organizations, her history of anti-Semitism. Honestly, all I'm going to say here is that I think before Ilhan Omar occupies any official government position, including her seat in Congress, she should probably address the accusations of immigration fraud. You know, that whole thing that there's actual concrete proof that she married her own brother in order to ease his immigration into the United States. Two agents have interviewed a person with knowledge of the case in Minnesota in mid-October. This person presented a trove of documents relating to the marriage of Omar and Ahmed Noor Said Elmi in 2009. The FBI is currently investigating whether Ilhan Omar married her own brother. Maybe someone who isn't currently under investigation for immigration fraud is better suited for the job. And that's not counting everything else. But let's move on from Ilhan Omar. Next, we have Eric Swalwell, who's currently having a meltdown after McCarthy bans him from committee issues threat. Representative Eric Swalwell, a Democrat from California, made a statement that appeared to threaten House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, also from California, after Swalwell was removed from his House Intelligence Committee. Representative Swalwell, who has been accused of having a relationship with a Chinese spy, told Kevin McCarthy that he believes the Speaker will regret the decision, suggesting potential political retaliation. On Wednesday, Swalwell said, We will not be quiet, referring to other Democrats who were kicked off the committee, including Adam Schiff of California and Ilhan Omar of Minnesota. We're not going away. I think he'll regret giving all three of us more time on our hands. Swalwell claimed, But at the end of the day, our mission is now to restore the credibility and integrity of this institution of which the Speaker has so gravely, so gravely smashed and destroyed. What an absolute clown Eric Fartwell continues to be. Restore credibility and integrity to this institution which the speaker so gravely smashed and destroyed? No, I think Kevin McCarthy is actually doing the opposite. I think he's restoring credibility and integrity by not having a walking, talking national security risk on the Intelligence Committee. You know, maybe Nancy Pelosi refused to act when confronted by the FBI over Eric Swalwell's position on the Intelligence Committee. Kevin McCarthy clarifies, And if you want to talk about Swalwell, let's talk about Swalwell. Because you have not had the briefing that I had. I had the briefing and Nancy Pelosi had the briefing from the FBI. The FBI never came before this Congress to tell the leadership of this Congress that Eric Swalwell had a problem with a Chinese spy until he served on intel. So it wasn't just us who were concerned about it. The FBI was concerned about putting a member of Congress on the intel committee that has the rights to see things that others don't because of his knowledge and relationship with a Chinese spy. 
They brought it to the works of the leaders. I've got that briefing. So I do not believe he should sit on there. That committee? You know, Eric Swalwell, who had a relatively long-term relationship with a Chinese spy? How does removing this clown from the Intelligence Committee destroy the credibility and integrity of the U.S. House of Representatives? If anything, it does the opposite. It brings back some credibility and integrity. And how ironic. They keep claiming how Kevin McCarthy's decision is political. It's political retribution, they're saying. And then Eric Swalwell's response is, You're gonna regret this, Kevin McCarthy, now that we have more time on our hands. We're not going away. A political threat. Somehow Kevin McCarthy's the one who's acting politically and being politically vengeful, says the guy who just threatened the Speaker of the House with political vengeance over being removed from his position, and rightfully so. Absolute friggin' clown. Here's clown number three. Let's just quickly go through all of it. Adam Schiff is having an utter meltdown after being removed from his position. Breaking news, he writes. Kevin McCarthy just kicked me off the House Intelligence Committee, and here's why. I fought him and Donald Trump when they tried to tear down our democracy. If he thinks that this will stop me, he will soon find out differently. Kevin McCarthy kicked you off because you fought him and Donald Trump, who supposedly tried to tear down our democracy? No, little Adam Schiff boy. Kevin McCarthy kicked you off the committee for being a corrupt, chronic, pathological liar. What Adam Schiff did, use his power as a chairman and lie to the American public. Even the inspector general said it. When Devin Nunes put out a memo, he said it was false. When we had a laptop, he used it before an election to be politics and say that it was false and said it was the Russians. When he knew different, when he knew the intel, if you talk to um, John Radcliffe, DNI, he came out ahead of time and says there's no intel to prove that, and he used his position as chairman, knowing he has information the rest of America does not, and lied to the American public. When a whistleblower came forward, he said he, he did not know the individual, even though his staff had met with him and set it up. So no, he does not have a right to sit on that. But I will not be like Democrats and play politics with these, where they removed Republicans from committees and all committees. So yes, he can serve on a committee, but he will not serve on intel, because it goes to the national security of America, and I will always put them first, all right? When a whistleblower came forward, he said he, he did not know the individual, even though his staff had met with him and set it up. Let me ask you, was Adam Schiff removed from his position for his various corrupt ethics violations, and in my opinion, many criminal violations, or was he removed because he challenged Donald Trump and Kevin McCarthy didn't like that? Holy moly. You could not invent a more corrupt, dishonest politician if you tried. You could be the greatest fiction writer of all time. You can never top Adam Schiff. But of course, we know exactly what this is about for Adam Schiff. It's another grift. You know, the tweet that I just read you guys, guess what Adam Schiff followed it up with? This political retribution from Kevin McCarthy is only going to make me fight harder. Stand with me against Kevin McCarthy. Donate now to actblue.com. Here's another one. Elon Musk liked the Kevin McCarthy tweet where he says he rejected the appointments of Adam Schiff and Eric Swalwell for the House Intelligence Committee. And Adam Schiff responds, people who have power are obsessed with keeping it like Kevin McCarthy and Elon Musk. I'm committed to holding them accountable. If you're with me, chip in at secure.actblue.com slash donate slash January 2023. It's all a donation scam, a donation grift. Adam Schiff so dishonestly is trying to paint himself as a fighter for democracy. He's now running for the Senate, aiming to take Dianne Feinstein's position. And here's just a little taste of his newest campaign ad. I've always believed that what's right matters, that the truth matters, and that decency matters. And when a dangerous demagogue tried to undermine our democracy, I wasn't about to let him. You can't trust this president to do the right thing, not for one minute, not for one election, not for the sake of our country. You know, it's kind of funny, in the previous tweet he writes, people who have power are obsessed with keeping it, like Kevin McCarthy, but everything Adam Schiff seems to do seems to revolve around him keeping power or getting those who stand in his way out of power. The amount of times he lied, misrepresented evidence to get Donald Trump out of power shows you how desperate and how hellbent this guy is, how obsessed he is on the preservation of his and his party's power. Every Everything he does revolves around the Democrat establishment's retention of political power and the advancement of Adam Schiff's career. He's a liar. He's a snake. These three clowns are now suffering a pathetic public meltdown. I give them a 0 out of 10 score. Crawl back under the rock from which you came. Nobody gives a damn. Bye. Have a beautiful time.
that's what I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. You guys know how it goes. I got another video to record for the day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.